A capacitor is a commonly used electronic component to store energy for a short time and to smoothen or filter voltages. In electronics we usually consider ideal capacitors, but when we use them at high frequencies, we have to take parasitic effects into account. Therefore, we will talk a bit about the real behavior of capacitors in this video and what you need to be aware of. A capacitor always consists of two conducting plates and a non-conducting layer in between them. The equivalent circuit of an ideal capacitor is just its capacitance, which depends on the material of the dielectric and the geometric dimensions of the capacitor. When we consider the most important parasitic effects of the capacitor, we have to extend the equivalent circuit a little bit. Let's start with the effect of the dielectric. As the dielectric works as an isolation layer between the two conducting plates, it has a very high ohmic resistance as well. This resistance is represented by adding a resistor R-isol for isolation in parallel to the actual capacitance. If we consider an electrolyte capacitor, we usually write a leak instead of R-isol to represent the leakage current flowing through the dielectric which is an oxide layer in the case of an electrolyte capacitor. Every electronic component has to be connected somehow to a circuit. This happens mostly with some wires, which are ohmic. They are also represented by a so-called equivalent series resistance, or ESR, which is just a resistor that is connected in series to the rest of the equivalent circuit. This resistor also includes the polarity reversal losses of the dielectric. Last but not least, we have to add an equivalent series inductance or ESL, which represents all parasitic inductances of the whole component. These are due to the fact that the capacitor plates are often somehow rolled up inside the case, which means that the current has to flow in loops. A few nanohenries must be expected here depending on the connections and the internal structure. As you can see from this equivalent circuit, a real capacitor is a resonance circuit. Its impedance changes over the frequency. At high frequencies, the capacitor starts to work as an inductance. The phase shift of voltage and current at this point will therefore never be the ideal expected 90 degrees. In general, inductors are more difficult to model at high frequencies, since they cannot be produced as precise as capacitors. Among others, the effect we have shown make filter design for wide frequency ranges very difficult and demonstrate that the parasitic effects can no longer be neglected.